thank all of you for uh, allowing me to tell you sort of a little bit of a case study about how a uh, simple country plant physiologist has managed to uh, use iPlant resources to get, gather some information out of the sequence data we have for leafy spurge. The, the holy grail of any uh, non-model organism, of course, is, is whole genome sequencing. And we knew this was going to be sort of an, an epic adventure because leafy spurge is an auto aloe hexaploid. Uh, it has a propensity for outcrossing. And it has a genome size that we originally thought was about uh, 2.1 gigabases. And we only had about $10,000 to do this work. Um, only minor problem was we had uh, funding for the sequencing, but not for the bioinformatics. Fortunately, ignorance is bliss, so I happily went on with the project. Uh, we got some sequence back from our, our colleagues in uh, uh, Stoneville, Mississippi, and in no time at all, I was sitting on about 600 billion base pairs of leafy spurge DNA and no real way to analyze it. Uh, I then tried all of the uh, uh, apps for, for doing uh, assembly, and the one that worked the very first time I tried to throw it through was Soap de Novo. Uh, and uh, I ran it with a, a number of different camers, the best of which turned out to be camer uh, of, of about 45. And uh, it wasn't great, but I, I managed to get uh, an N50 of about uh, 390 uh, base pairs, maximum length of about 8,000 base pairs. So it wasn't as good as what I was really hoping, and, and I really didn't know exactly why. Uh, could be anything from uh, bad sequences that, that, that were there or to, or to uh, maybe a, a lot of uh, repetitive sequences that were, were gumming up the works. Uh, fortunately, there was a webinar uh, put on by iPlant recently that, uh, where I learned about a program called Suffixinator, which would uh, do some camera counting for me and sort of give me the answers of, of why I wasn't getting a, a, as good of assembly as I was hoping. Uh, ran the program and it didn't work. But fortunately, iPlant not only provides you with a, a good place for storing information and apps for doing uh, some basic uh, data analysis, but it also provides you with the names and emails of uh, people who are bioinformaticians. So I emailed the guy who told me about Suffixinator, which is the program to, to do the camera counting, and I said, hey, it's not working the, the, as well as it should. He said, well, tell you what, share your data with me. I'll give it to my postdoc and she'll run it through a newer program called Jellyfish that'll do about the same thing. And that worked out pretty darn good. And about a week later, he sent me back this chart here, which is, uh, like I said, shows the camera coverage from my library. So I, I sort of built up myself a, a, a pipeline where I took the genomes of related species, uh, particularly cassava, castor bean, and poplar as well as my EST collections, and I used the uh, BLAP application in iPlant, along with some of the uh, tabular uh, data um, applications that are available in iPlant, to create a list of all of the sequences that mapped to these uh, other genomes or to my EST collections, figuring if they're conserved, they're probably genes, and, and I can, and use those to, to build my gene space. Uh, I then uh, contacted a colleague at the North Dakota State University in the computer science department who helped me uh, uh, identify and rebuild my FASTQ files from that list of uh, positive hits. And then I used the application Trinity in iPlant to assemble those and also uh, various programs in the, or applications in the iPlant uh, to assess that assembly to get my genes back. So, looking into the future, uh, what we hope to do, of course, we're going to need a lot more sequence data if we really want to make this work. I'm really kind of uh, geeked about the possibilities of some of these, uh, the newer long read technologies such as the mini ion. Uh, we also recently just did uh, four lanes of Illumina uh, for an RNA-seq study, so we've got really good uh, ESTs now. From, from Leafy Spurge, and I want to go back and I want to pull those fragments out and redo my, my Trinity assembly. And of course, I'm looking for more gap uh, filling programs, and, and I want to extend out and get all the promoters for all of the genes that, that we have available.